Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Superfume at level 1 to 100. I'm going to show you guys the best skills, the best room setup, and everything you need to know about this new mythic monster. It's also available in the event board for those of you guys wondering, so you can obtain it through there. But, anyways, guys, I hope you're locked in. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, we're going to get started. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start fitting this monster up. I also want to let you guys know that the winners for the Gold Legends Pass giveaway has been chosen. So make sure to check out the community tab if you haven't already um, to see the winners there. But anyways, take a look at that one skill right there. Already at level 10, it was just unlocked. Uh, as you can see, it's called Hot, Hot Spices and it gives Toxins, Days, and Vulnerability. It's pretty cool. And I'm assuming that's not one of her best skills yet. So we'll have to see what it is. Um, let's take a look at the speed. 17,072 uh, power. That's the power. 436,716 live that life is pretty bad with level 100 comparing it to the other monsters 12,760 speed is actually pretty good it's a fast monster with low life all right got it ardent immune to poison uh says to 25 damage boost to everybody so that's pretty good hey i'm assuming it's a supporter but it also has some damaging skills so it might be an attacker nope maybe it maybe a supporter look at this double damage and immune to control to all allies all right i'll take it you also have a damage boost to one ally it gives on turn to itself or Give yourself, yeah. So you're applying a damage boost to one of your allies and then get an extra turn. Cool. All right. 25% damage boost to one ally gives itself one extra turn. All right. I see. I see it. Um, Poisonous Stench. It's a moderate nature damage to all enemies applies toxins and vulnerabilities. Okay. She's not that bad, guys. Low special damage to all enemies applies damage boost to all allies. 25% damage boost to one ally. And then obviously this. Okay. So don't run any, any other skills. These are the four best skills in my opinion. This monster is actually pretty solid. Let me tell you that. So what I would do, obviously, uh, if I'm running this monster, I would do one of these skills skills whichever one you want to start off with because they're both two turn cooldown they both cost the same amount of stamina it's kind of weird they both cost the same amount of stamina um because one is a 50 percent the other one's a 20 25 percent damage boost you know what i mean at least like make the 50 percent damage boost cost more obviously i'm glad it doesn't let me tell you that but it just makes more sense if it was that way because they're both not the same thing if you think about it yeah they're both damage boosts but one of them is 50 percent and obviously as you used to say they change it up for the double damage you see what i mean obviously it comes with control immunity and the double damage to everybody so yeah um pretty good supporter i mean pretty decent right not bad uh and then obviously you're getting the 20 percent damage boost later on as a status caster so if you don't want to run the 20 percent uh damage boost uh and swatch it switch it with another skill you can do that as well because you're going to be receiving it from the status caster anyways uh anyways in terms of relics oh i like the relics i do like the relics or the trap i know some of you guys are like why don't you go with a trap like that deals damage or heals her or whatever i personally prefer the slumster trap let me tell you why okay because a lot of you guys will go for a SN that will revive you right right so like shadow SN or whatever other SN you're running that will basically uh bring the monster back um you need another way to regenerate stamina especially the fact that this monster uh can actually cycle her her skills a little bit so the two turn cooldowns and then the three turn to finish it all off or sorry the three turn cooldown at the end to finish it off so just just mentioning that up you know what i mean bringing it up so um you know something to kind of note uh but besides all that let's go ahead and give in runes this monster is actually pretty solid i want to give it level 10s but i don't know what bunky is going to decide to do and how long she's going to take uh, leveling this monster up or ranking it up so for now i'm just going to go ahead and give in level sevens maybe we'll give eighth actually so if we pair it up with a attacker from one of the recent eras i don't want her to be super slow you know especially if it's going to be an ancestral monster i feel like this monster works so well with just injustice think about it because you know how this monster's ancestral awakening works with basically providing damage boots for him these guys work together guys it's literally like they are meant for each other like think about it seriously um i'm gonna do a summit folk here so I'm focused sword and then obviously a cleric's armor for stamina regen. Actually, the other armor works better. Let me see. This one right here, Honor Zojo. And just like that, we went ahead and paired it up and we're ready to go. So 21. Oh, wait, what? How are you still faster? That doesn't make sense. All right, first turn, we might have to do like double damage or something to ourselves. Let's just do the double damage. Oh, does that double damage gives me an extra turn? I didn't want that. I really didn't. All right, well, here's the thing. If you don't want to pair it up with a tank here and actually go with like a monster that great disables or something, that would be a better idea because... Obviously, um, you gotta you gotta trade disable the enemies because most of the time you'll go up against ants patients. Uh, here we actually luckily we didn't go up against ants patients. So what we can do? I'm pretty sure this monster has a triple damage skill now. Okay, are we not running the triple damage? It's fine. Let's just go and charge up. All right, that's completely fine. We gotta hit. Okay, so the monster can also get the nine. You gotta be careful of that. Um, 
what you can actually do though is pair it up with uh with the free legends fast monster because that one can also apply immune to possession right although you have immune to control that you can actually apply it but you got to get the in the first turn in order to apply it and that can also be p yard okay something to watch out from why don't we go up against this player right here hopefully this this player has 150s okay that's that's completely okay so as long as as long as we don't mess up here so here's what we're gonna do uh don't use a double damage yet do one of the damage boosts whichever one you want to do so 25 percent and as you see um wait what the heck why why did it not i just boost his uh i just boost his damage how come he didn't get anything look damage boost double damage what are you talking about it's a damage boost why did the double damage was the only one that, that worked is he like special or something why does he only need double damage in order for his awakening to, to you know go up like it doesn't make sense what the heck i don't get it i seriously don't let me back out what, what is going on look let's read this okay so it says just injustice or any ally boosts just in damage five times right boosts Justin's damage it doesn't say that it needs specifically double damage triple damage or whatever it just says that you need to boost the damage for the monster either him himself or one of the ally boosted for him so how come that didn't trigger right there like you can clearly see right here i'm gonna i'm gonna do the double damage right he gets plus one we're gonna go ahead and charge up look we do a normal 25 percent damage boost which is technically a damage boost that should work towards his awakening but it doesn't is it, maybe it doesn't um maybe it doesn't take in the small damage boost it needs to be one of the one of the bigger ones like the double damage or triple damage look it just went up right let me try it with with one of this okay so this is a normal damage boost to all allies let's see if that actually works as well that works why doesn't it work with the other monster i don't get it is that a bug okay someone needs to explain this to me that has to be a bug right because right by now our awakening should have been unlocked i don't understand there's three out of five right now obviously we're gonna have to keep charging up look 25 percent damage boost nothing right uh 50 damage boost and that thing okay and obviously i don't want to attack because the monsters are just super weak and if i were to do like a normal damage boost look okay so this is a 25 percent damage boost to everybody right 25 percent to everybody let's go ahead and do that it's a plus one wait what if i don't target the monster specifically what if i just do it to myself um here's what i mean so i'm not going to do this yet let me see so i'm gonna do the 20 normally when i uh click on this i click on the monster itself what if i click on herself let's see maybe that way it'll actually work that is so weird that's so weird it doesn't make sense okay that's it makes sense but at the same time it doesn't make sense like that's so stupid like it shouldn't be like that anyways we get our awakening right so it's, it's kind of stupid but uh, I'll, I'll explain to you guys oh and but by the time i great by the time i get my awakening the monster dies okay i understand the concept let's go ahead and get in let's get in it's kind of silly the way it works but it is what it is i guess all right galvanus oh man galvanus is gonna be a pain unless unless we just do that and get rid of him easily see ya all right so look the damage boost right we have the damage boost if i were to use it on justin himself it won't work he won't get a plus one uh, for his uh ultimate that won't work you have to use it either to her or him i think let me try using it on him will it actually work we're about to find out let's see oh it actually doesn't work that's crazy so it only works if you use it to her i believe look ready yep there it is awakening charge <laughs> that's so silly man it really is silly i don't like that all right so yeah, you're just gonna have to continue using it to yourself even though it's an area um it's funny because he's not getting any damage boost though he's not getting any damage boost applies damage boost one ally gives itself one extra chance so if you're using it to herself he's getting the plus one but if you were to use it to him it won't work and but if it's an area look at that he gets a plus one obviously and this is area as well like right look area boom and it's only look he's gonna get a plus one that way okay that's that's kind of silly that is kind of silly but it is what it is all right at least we uh figured out how it works unfortunately we can't really try disable any of them we can't do anything with the ultimate i don't know what i was trying to unlock but it wasn't gonna work out so let me eliminate him and then she will end up dying right about let me try the double damage to one ally okay so i'm gonna do this to myself maybe let's see if it's to myself will he get the plus one well actually i have my awakening never mind that doesn't make sense i don't think we should have tried that <laughs> anyways guys so the monster works well with uh, just injustice but obviously uh, not the way you think obviously you can't really uh provide uh, extra damage boost to justin because the only one you can do is a double damage um i really wanted to apply the 25 percent damage boost and the 50 percent obviously but if you're if you're gonna do that you can't really you know uh unlock his awakening unfortunately that way that could be a bug i'm not sure but it literally says awakening conditions just injustice or any ally boosts justin's damage five times right so when you're 
boosting his damage specifically, he's not really getting an awakening. It needs to be only for one day allies, obviously. Um, I use it for the Megaton, or sorry, yeah, the, the Megaton or Taunt Monster Shield Bolt, and it didn't work. But if you were to use it on only Superfume herself, it works. It's kind of weird the way it works. But anyways, um, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Legends Monster Review. If you guys did enjoy, and if you did, make sure you drop a like and found it helpful as well. Make sure to subscribe and return. And that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.